Okay na. Buenos dias, señoritas y señoritos. At dito po tayo sa Sambuanga. And may treat po ako sa inyo. Because uh, ang tagal-tagal na pinapromise ko sa inyo na pupunta rin tayo sa business coaching. Kasi minsan nakakasawa na yung politika. Eh, we, timing. This is the first time na tulad ng sinabi ko sa inyo, Uh, we will be interviewing successful people themselves kasi hindi naman pwede parati ako na lang ang pinopromote ko syempre we have to get tulad ito idol ko ito itong kakausapin natin ngayon uh, all, in almost all level journalism politics and now in business and we will pick his brains out para malaman natin ano ba talagang secret to life niya secret to politics and more especially secret to business so we have here and it is an honor kahit bigla bigla he is my ninong in wedding and he is my friend sa media and he is my idol former congressman Ervi Pabian of Sambuanga City. Uh, he had been a uh, councillor, three-term councillor, three-term vice mayor, two years, two years vice mayor, and then uh, three-term uh, mayor. mayor also, and uh, three-term uh, congressman. And he, he made the splash rin sa Congress during his time. Pero uh, what uh, in, uh, what What I was very much impressed with uh, my Ninong is ang course niya is nursing eh. How, how, he, how he was able, you know, from, from nursing to go into politics, how he was able to reinvent himself. Isipin nyo yan. But tapos now, he has a very successful business na resort in Sambuanga City. Uh, na that gives him pleasure, but at the same time, uh, uh, passive income in his olden days and then uh, pag golf golf siya so the, the, you know he, in short he is living the life I, I can only dream I have so now uh, let's hear it from uh, from congressman and uh, businessman Elby Fabian himself uh, Buenas tardes Buenas Armand and thank you very much for dropping by and I'm very happy because uh, in a manner Yabira to ole aki ka natin na siyudad de Sambuanga and you're leading the way especially so going back to where you all started diba? where where it all started for you you know we're neighbors in our yes. in our place you come from Manikan I come from Kabaluwe also and uh You mentioned something about being successful. Well, yes, I think yes. it depends how you are going to define what success is all about. Diba? Okay. As I've been telling people, sometimes it's best if you are very much aware about yourself, being contented and being satisfied, then you're successful. Yes, yes. I'm not trying to tell you that uh, you're successful because of your net worth. What I'm trying to say is you're successful because you're contented. You have peace of mind and everything. And uh, in as far as this little business is concerned, Binju, it, it's a really a small business. As a matter of fact, I used to coin it as a very small garden resort <laughs> uh, that will in a manner serve you very privately. And at the yes, same time, yes. if you have some very nice personalities who would like to take advantage of it, then they're all welcome here. Yes, tell us more about the resort. When when you uh, did you put it up? Uh, uh, how where can they contact to? to well, uh, we are located right in front of the old parish church of yes, Mercedes. Mercedes yes. You know, Mercedes, as you very well know, when you were still here in Sambonga, and now you're back again in Sambonga. Yes, yes. Mercedes is a very rustic community. Yes, yes. And it reminds us of the old Sambonga days. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we're located. I like the old trees. Yes, oh. and the uh, acacia and acacia, everything, yes. and uh, even the lingo they speak. Yeah, in Chabacano. In Chabacano and yes. then there's uh, some kind of. Uh, tabla sila tono. Huh? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Sige, oh, tono, oh, oh. Tono, yes. And yes. we're located right in front of the parish church. And uh, it's a small place. It's only around 3,000 square meters. But what makes it very unique is the fact that, well, if you're here, everything is green. Ah, yeah. And there's I no, that. there I are no plastic that. flowers or whatsoever. Yes, and this yes. is why I want to be. I want it to be known as the garden resort here in Sambonga City. Resort. And of course, we want it to be very, very clean for people to really appreciate, especially so when they come over and stay. Yeah, I was telling. Uh, Congressman Erby kanina na 
Uh, I really like about what I like about uh, Goldie and Stephanie Resort. I, by the way, it's called Goldie and Stephanie. Uh, yeah. This place is named after my pet dogs. <laughs> no, pet Goldie dog. is a golden retriever, yeah. and Stephanie They're is still a alive. Shih tzu. They're still alive, but very old already. <laughs> very old. Yeah. I'm a little worried because yeah. you know, if you take care of pets, I know you take care of pets yeah, also. Yeah, yeah. And there's an intimacy that is being uh, that will connect you with the pet. Yeah. And I'm worried if they if they have to go, uh, definitely it will sadden <laughs> yeah I, I was telling uh, congressman Erby what I like about this place which he himself uh, markets in Facebook and social media is the fact that uh, you know it reminds me of, of what Sambuanga should be we call this city the city of flowers but it seems that uh, our past officials idea of uh, progress is to cement everything it, it's, it's yeah. you know the, the, the flower side it's no longer uh, you don't really see much of it yeah. in few places of course in parks but flowers should be everywhere like like later on we will tour pati yung, yung ferns dito and everything you know it, it, it will really it will really make you realize if you go to Goldie and Sp Stephanie Resort that you are in the city of flowers yeah, you're very correct yes, there, Arman. Yes. No, because we opened our eyes here in Zamboanga, <laughs> and Zamboanga was known as a city yeah. of flowers. Well, some other officials, they're good friends of ours <laughs> also, maybe they have some other ideas on how to market Zamboanga. And that's why it came about. Yeah. Uh, Celso named it as the Asian uh, Latin, Latin city, city yeah. and several others. No, but for me, it will always be the city of flowers. Well, yeah. I have nothing really against yeah. naming it or for purposes of marketing. Uh, Latin city, maybe it, partly it may, may be correct, but for me, it will always be the yeah, yeah. Uh, city of flowers, the yeah, original city the original, of flowers. Because, uh, because I understand right now, Baguio is also city of flowers. something that can attract people. Eh. Yes. Well, and so we just, Latin, and the people, people are even asking, even until now, <laughs> where have all the flowers <laughs> gone? <laughs> yes. So they do. So yeah. they, they have to yes. come here to so Stephanie to see them. So I think it is incumbent upon us <laughs> to carry on the torch of our forefathers. Yes, you know, we, yes. we were born here, we were raised here, and yeah. that's how we feel towards Zamboanga City as a city of flowers. Yeah, yeah. Because that, that is something that can define us. Whereas, uh, uh, you know, I, I went to Spain and people were telling me, no, we don't like to go to the Philippines because we, we are living in a, in a, in a Latin uh, uh, country. And yeah. why should we go to the Philippines? We should go to Malaysia. We should, because it's, it's really yeah, Asia. Yeah. So they, they want that. So if we market uh, Sambuanga as the city of flowers, then it will be different from Intramuros, yes. which, which is also yeah. a Latin, Hispanic, uh, uh, Hispanic yeah. area. So uh, that gives us a unique, a unique perspective. Yeah. So, so there's no, there's no really, there's really no problem, no, in mm. trying to market Sambonga City, and they've tried it several times, and uh, the latest of which was Asia's Latin City. I really, I don't have anything against it. But as I've been telling you, let us move on with Samwanga as a city of flowers. Yes. Especially yes. so, it's very nostalgic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very, very nostalgic. Yeah, yeah. You come to Samwanga, it is. Uh, they co usually connect it with the beautiful ladies also, Yon. and the mestizo, yes, the mestiza, yes, and the yes. mestizo people here. And more than that, it's the language that we've been speaking, yeah. the Chabacano language. Which also and I'm very happy because it all started us. with. Uh, the late Mam Kaling Lobregat, yeah, yeah. you know, she really started it and was very consistent in trying to preserve the Chapacano dialect. Yeah, okay. So let's now go to the main topic, and we, uh, which is uh, how, how, what, what made you, you know, you, you've been known to be, you know, you have made a name in the national and local scene as far as uh, politics is concerned. So you could have uh, taken a rest, you could have. Uh, your family is in America. You could have uh, also uh, rest in your retirement there. But why did you? What what made you decide to put up uh, Goldie and Stephanie Resort? Well, there's a saying, Arman, that home is where your heart is. Yes, yes. And my heart belongs to Sambuanga City. Yes. And yes. this is the reason why, to be honest, my wife is an American citizen. Yes, yes. And uh, my stepson is my son is. Uh, in the states right yes, now yes. but a i lawyer. decided yes yeah. he's a corporate lawyer and yeah. i decided to stay here and uh, make sambuanga as a place 
where I'm going to edit everything here in Chambuanga City. But, but why business? Why the resort well, business? Well, this is not necessarily a business proposition. Uh, it started but I think, as a, as a uh, no, For me, I just wanted a place relaxation. where I can relax, where it's going to be a comfort zone for me, especially so retirement no uh, you really have to prepare for your retirement yes, yes, yes. and uh, right now i really enjoy it here the ambience and everything and at the same time that pandemic opened up the eyes of lots of people in Samboanga and elsewhere in the world that when we can do and it's time for us to go back yeah, to the, the basics, basics. Yes, yes. yes 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 and this is where the plantitos plantitas yeah. were yeah. reborn again yes yes and uh, this is the result of yeah, the pandemic plantito yeah. and plantita ka buhay ka dito it's like your paradise for uh, for those who love it's, green it's for me it's a lost horizon yeah 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 in fact uh, I, I was surprised to see yeah. yung mga acacia trees pa uh, century old trees na ate yes, yan century eh. old trees they're, they're, you know the, the whole Mercedes itself is like a yeah. garden and Goldie and Stephanie is in the middle of it so uh Moving on, what are your plans uh, after uh, you, well, you're a bit uh, well in as far as uh, player well, in as far as uh, my personal life yes, is concerned, politics. I would like it to be very very simple. <laughs> and uh, as a matter of fact, if I will be given a chance, I would like it to be unnoticed. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yes. okay. But sometimes you cannot do away with it. No, of considering course, of my course. background also. I yes, was, yes. I was yes. a public figure before, and everywhere you go, sometimes people will just get to know you. Oh, yeah. it's Irby oh, oh, and oh. everything. But uh, more than that, I think you just have to be very contented and having that peace of mind within yourself. So you, if you're at peace with yourself, if you're at peace with the environment, then you're in good hands. Yeah. You, you know, guys, I'm really honored not only because, uh, you know, we, we started, I started in media idolizing uh, uh, Congressman RB and, you know, he, he finished his political uh, life without scandal. Unlike yung nagkikita natin yung mga nangyayari sa Oriental. I mean, you know, that's part of politics. <laughs> Negros Oriental. <laughs> Ay, uh, you know, that's part of politics, uh, Arman. You cannot do away with, uh, well, cases and yeah. complaints. No, oh, not cases. Oh, oh. I never had any case. Yeah, you Maybe would. complaints, yes. Yes, But yes. cases, none. And all the complaints were all dismissed. You dismissed, know, you know, you know, you know yeah. they can do a lot pa, of things for, about. Par for the course, yeah, yeah, yes. I PR, I yeah, know that. Yes, we, yes. It's uh, our job. To, when mm. you have, you, you don't have a case, we should invent <laughs> one. <laughs> we call yeah. that uh, po, uh, made for politics case yeah. because when you file a case against a politician, po, especially during the campaign, ang thinking ng tao when there's smoke, there's fire. There's so fire. when you file a case, it doesn't matter kung na dismiss siya for lack of probable cause yeah. after the election. Ang importante, lumabas sa media, yeah. na interview yung kandidato, nasira siya sa 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 tao and you know, sa ang, ang tao they don't some people assume that just because a case is filed against against you, convicted ka na, hindi nila alam eventually ma-dismiss rin yun. Pero too late na, that will happen after the election na. Yeah. So kayo po uh, may na file and then all dismiss. Oh, oh yeah. There's there are some complaints, no, but com, everything com, was dismissed. Yeah, yun nga. Yeah, eh, yes. Kaya complaint is is par for the course. Kung mm-hmm. iya ka sa politics about <laughs> because of complaints, yeah. you will not last long. Yeah. So I'm very proud again of my uh, any parting words you for, just have to for be those very who want with yourself who yeah. want to go into politics, business, well, or you know, just Arman, want to enjoy honestly, life. Honestly, I was into politics by official accident. Oh, how, how you know, I'm a happen? nurse by profession. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and your wife knows that very well. Yes, yes. We came from the same university. Yes, and yes. Uh, because of economic reasons, you know, I don't belong to a very prominent family. Yes, yes. Both of my parents passed at the, away at a very early age, so I have to take mm. care of my brothers and sisters. So my mom suggested I take up nursing for me to be able to help uh, yeah, my yeah. brothers and sisters and I obey as an obedient son I obey there but unfortunately or fortunately I never had the chance to practice my nursing profession because of economic reasons yes, yes. so I joined the media until later on the late Mam Kaling Lobregat who yes. owns this first United Broadcasting Corporation yes, yes. I joined there and became very active with the press club we were together yes, then yes, yes. and then uh, for number of years even until now I'm still with the media and the rest yeah. is history you, you still have your radio your I still TV have program? a radio 
TV program, but and I don't know, I don't tackle any more hard issues. Hard issues. It's so. all about music therapy. Oh, yeah. I just yeah. love to play nice songs <laughs> that will remind us, bring us back yes. of how days were before uh, uh, ano pa yun, when we were ano young program, and restless. Ano pa yung program? <laughs> well, yeah, before I used to have that Cuentas Claras, Cuentas Claras and Amor yes, Con Amor yes, Sepaga. Yes, yes, and yes. I was really tackling, you know, hard issues uh-huh. and at the same time trying to be of assistance to the public by way of charitable actuations left and right because of my nursing background we were able to show concern for the destitutes mm-hmm. and the needy ones yes, but yes. right now after everything has been said and done in politics and all the other aspects in life it's back to you know you have to look for something that will relieve your stress correct correct and correct. Uh, i think one way of relieving stress is through music <laughs> yeah, and this is the yeah. reason why i'm back to music again yes, because yes, music yes. is a universal language and yeah. i believe that love will always be the key yon and he's all he's always known here as yung amor con amor se paga in english well that's love begets love yeah, you give so somebody on. you'll get it back yes so we will be talking about more about life Love and as uh, Congressman Erby tours us around uh, the Goldie and Spen- Stephanie Resort. And if you notice, kung magtutur po kayo dito, you will see lots of sayings. And I think ma- some of those, like you, well, they say is the real some wealth. friends of mine you, came you over. That? Oh. Some friends of mine came over, and when they saw some of the sayings here, which are titles of some songs, <laughs> you know what they told me, Erby. You only try. You, it is very reflective of your age. <laughs> yeah. So we'll we'll go around the Stephanie and Goldie Resort uh, on the second part ng uh, vlog natin, and then we'll we'll uh, I'll ask uh, the congressman to re- to explain a little about the sayings which I know you really chose, di ba? Yeah, yes. Uh, and there's plenty of that uh, there over over there. So uh, thank you very much, uh, thank congressman. You very much, Not we, at all. Uh, uh, we will come back for the second part. For now, we'll say thank you very much uh, for joining us in this vlog. And don't forget to subscribe to the Blogcaster Armandin uh, YouTube channel. Buenas, y mas, uh, buena, buenas gracias a todos. And see you in my next vlog.